Dodge, what do you feel? Like, I know you're over there like, yeah. a, like a caged animal over there trying to get out. Talk no, to not, us. Not that much of a caged animal. Uh, the thing I will say from the, from the other perspective is even liberals say this is a BS case, but, but they feel he has so much deeper misdeeds. It's almost an Al Capone thing. Okay. Like, if you can't get him for the worst stuff... Get him for whatever you could get him with. And look, I, I don't agree with this, but you talk about the Juanita Broderick stuff. Yeah. Trump's been accused of sexual assault himself. So he has a lot of skeletons in his closet. What, what's going to be interesting about this case, the most interesting part about it, is apparently there's a third person involved, a doorman, okay. who was given hush money, and this might be total bullshit, yeah, yeah. but was given hush money to cover up a child born from Trump at a oh, wedding. Oh, God. Uh, so part of me thinks that Bragg knows he's going to lose this, mm -hmm. but he's having a great time just screwing with Trump yeah. and embarrassing yeah. his personal life to what he looks like a hero to New York voters. Yeah. And then Trump will get to the general election and he'll be, he's, he's already has some issues now, but he'll be such a complete laughing stock that normal people couldn't vote for him. Gotcha. I'm not saying that's going to be successful and that's deserved, yeah. but that's, that's the perspective I think of liberal activists. I got, uh, and I, and I love, see, I love that, that point of view. Cause you know, I'm kind of wishy-washy because listen to me guys, everything that you're seeing, everything that's happening, don't do not. I know you, you two especially are not, don't put it past the Democrats, bro. They know exactly what the hell they're doing. They know what they're doing with Russia. They, and mind you, like you said, no accountability. No, what? I think one person got arrested for the whole lying. Uh, I know they fined uh, Hillary and the DNC and they for the. the, the They've the, all got dirt. No, yeah, 100%. Yeah. But what Come I'm saying on, is man. nobody that will go Biden to jail. Biden has been in office for 40 years, since yeah. the 70. How many, how many different. Uh, uh, conspiracy theories. How many different things have happened under his watch yeah. that we not that we're not questioning? How many yeah. things happened under Hillary's watch oh, that we're course. not questioning? Oh, I, where were you at when you when Epstein was bringing these girls to the island? That's what I want to oh, know. Yeah. What was what was that? With <laughs> and, 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 my, that and, and you know what I did too? Just real talk. I looked up. It's, right. That's a fault when people are like Donald Trump went to the island. No, he didn't. No, Donald he Trump didn't. was never there. Worse he actually plan. hated. He actually despised Epstein because everybody knew. Everybody knew what the hell this guy was doing. But Bill Clinton was, I think, 17 times. Yeah. What are you doing there 17 times? Explain yourself. I, like, and I, I think I said this to Kelly once. I would pay, I would start a GoFundMe page, a GoFundMe, to well, all these people that are in question, let's just say Bill Clinton, Hillary Clinton. Mm -hmm. We'll start a GoFundMe, we'll raise $10 million, okay? We're gonna hook you up to a lie detector test for one major question, okay? Mm. And I don't—I hate when people say they're not admissible in court. Yeah, but they're admissible to the to the public. The general. I want to ask you: Did you have you ever raped or or slept with an underage or child? Colluded to build, with a rapist. Or colluded or or ready for this, Hillary? Have you ever had somebody killed? Have you ever oh, put an order? At least two. I, don't, I mean. I, mind you, I don't know if Trump has. I don't. I have no idea how crazy he is. I mean, he did work with, with the mafia. But think about it. Let's let's. They'll obviously never do that. Like you said, they all have these these skeletons in their closet. But it's like Kelly. You know what? Can you? What are you gonna say, Kelly? Oh, I was just gonna say, it's just a big distraction. Whether it's the Democrats putting this up uh, to distract like Republicans or, or like oh like look how bad Donald Trump is. It's actually elevating him. Republicans. You're are, right. He's like double ahead of DeSantis now. Yeah. I want to know what the matrix yeah. is trying to distract me from. They're Ooh. turning this him into a Trump martyr. This is a distraction to the election. Yeah. There's so much real, the, the points that you guys are talking about, the points that matter, our economy that's struggling, all these things about our government, but we're distracted about whether Trump had sex or not and whether he paid her off correctly using whatever. Whatever. Funds. It doesn't, it shouldn't be, we're, we're being distracted right now, and it's who's going to let themselves be distracted 100%. by this. Meanwhile, but see, my, my, go ahead, go ahead, meanwhile the United States is like out of the room while a new currency is being go built. Go ahead, go ahead. Uh, Biden's sending and more, we need to more money to Ukraine, all these things that are happening around the same time. It's it's parallel. It's I feel like it's very strategic. You nailed it. I feel like there's something going on, and we just look like we're caught with our pants down the entire time. Bro, well, you know what Biden's doing right now? Eating chocolate chip eating cookies. Ice cream. <laughs> eating chocolate chip ice cream. Uh, uh, dude, oh, am I yo, uh, the boy, cause Dodge, think about this too, bro. Uh while this is all going on, the currency is going bye bye. Yeah. China and Russia are teaming up. Jeez. Saudi Arabia and Iran teaming up. While we're over right. here going, he he slept. No, no, that's right. an indictment. Bitch, we are crumbling. And I'm telling you, we talked about this a couple days ago. I don't care who you are, the the climate, the whatever the hell you want to call it. 
is changing dramatically this past three years. And I hate when people are like, well, it, you know, this president picked up the last. No, no, no. F look at all the all that rhetoric, the defund the police, the we're in the what the recession, the open border, the the from, or withdrawal from Afghanistan. I mean, and, t and to the people out there, the fans, the people who are watching at home, I need you to understand this is your money. This isn't about Trump sure. or one person yeah. or yeah. Hillary or anybody. What's I up, care man? about your well-being and your day-to-day -day life. So if you understand the petrodollar and you understand that right now as they're persecuting Trump, that they're taking us off of the petrodollar, yeah. slowly and little by little, mm -hmm. these, these different uh, uh, world powers are coming together and they are trying to overthrow us yep. as the strength in the United States. And yeah. we look weak, yeah. Oh no! And it's wake up! And, and you know, you know, I'm not one of those woke people, but wake up! <laughs> and you know, and you know, it's, you know what really? And we again, we talked about this. Uh, yeah, you were you were on the on the call too. People are like Vinny, why are you so mad? Why you can't control? I go, listen, I'll tell you why, bro. I am a patriot. Okay, my mom and dad are legal immigrants. So are their parents. We came here. They came here the right way. All three of their children, me, my brother, my sister, and I have other family members, all joined the armed forces. My brother was overseas a bunch of time. My sister just retired from the Air Force. I yeah. put my ass out on the line. And when people are like, why are you getting mad? I'm like, bro, I love this country. And I'm seeing like, like an old tattered pair of like jean, like all the seams are coming apart, but like everybody's worried about this. And I'm a boy, no, I'm a girl, no, I'm black. I don't get, nobody gives a shit. And you know, it's a big puppet. So, and George Carlin, I think I told Dodge this, George Carlin said one of the best quotes, he said, when you're born into this world, you have tickets to the freak show, okay? Mm -hmm. But when you're in America, you got front row seats. You're Ooh. just sitting there like, mm. look at, because it, it is a show, two more minutes? Like okay, like so we got, we got two more minutes left, guys, and I, wanna, I wanted to end with something that I talked with Kelly about, the Roman Empire, okay? You guys, this right now, and I've said this before, Right now, what's going on with us, it feels like the Roman Empire. Because think about it. We're number one. We're hanging on to that last thing. But nobody during the Roman Empire, I bet, stood around, looked around the Colosseum. The, they were the number one reigning superpower and went, you know what? We're, gonna, we're not going to be here at one point. Romans won't even be on the planet. That's where I think we're going. And I'll tell you guys right now. Do you know why some of the top keys that why Rome fell? Just you guys have any idea? Why? Invasions, economic troubles. Overexpansion and military overspending, that's us. Mm. Lack of recruiting soldiers, loss of traditional values, government corruption, political instability. Does that sound at all familiar to somebody else that you guys know? I want to know which one we do not have right now. Yeah, yeah, no, I mean, and, that, and that's us, Jamar. You feel me, bro? And, like, and what pisses me off the most, we are, we are the people, the 99%, the elites are the 1%. Yeah. And you know what we're doing? We're doing this. Everybody's just sitting on their hands and not doing shit. We have the power. And I, I, don't, I don't always like to go dark. I like to let people know, like, there is hope, okay? There is hope if people still have the, 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 the heart, the courage to step up, open your mouth, say something, go on the streets, fucking, you can protest, it's legal. Go out there and let them know. Don't just sit Peace there on your ass. Uh -huh. Peacefully. Yeah, peacefully <laughs> protest. I'm not saying I didn't say insurrect. Uh, uh, hey, 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 I thought January 6th was the most patriotic thing I've ever seen in my <laughs> life. <laughs> In my life. Yeah, but you know, I, I, I've read the American history books, bro. There was war for, for, for the freedom we enjoy today. I mean, I well, feel like it was a guided tour. Well, I, yeah, well, dude, because you know the shaman got completely... Yes, he, he got released. But, but here's the thing, Shout and I said this, shaman. I don't know if we said this on the first... Did we say this on our first show? I said, uh, if you have a problem with the system, you don't burn down your city. You don't burn down businesses and blow up your fucking town. You know what you do? You go to the root of the problem. You go, be, my, my, some of my cousins are hardcore liberal left. They're like, it was the biggest. No, it wasn't, bro. Yeah. No, it wasn't. People were there. Some people acted stupid. Anytime you put a hundred people together, they're going to act stupid. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, too, man. This is, I don't know if this is inside information or not, but I have conversations with a lot of people. And one of the conversations I had when I left my last job, which was for one of the most uh, prestigious law firms in America. I yeah. spoke with the head of the firm yeah. and I asked, what's something that you see happening in the world that you don't think people are, can see coming? Yeah. And he said, it's a civil war. That's coming it, here. It's, it's coming. It's and this guy's 70 something years old, again, head of one of the biggest law firms in America right now yeah. today. Yeah. And he said that. Yeah. And you know, I also read uh, the anti-federalist papers when I was younger. Oh, yeah. Cool. Right. And um, one of the, the writers who was appealing to um, the anti-federalist because he wanted the Constitution, was saying that civil war is one of the worst things that can happen in a country because 
unlike a famine and people like just dying out from starvation, when you go into civil war, everything's destroyed. Yeah. Your farms are destroyed. Everything. Your house is destroyed. Yeah. People pillage your property. It's not a, a, a easy it's way not, to go it's out. Not, it's as not a, a good country. sight. It's yeah. not an easy way to go out. Yeah, and, and dude, and there's two things just really fast because we have to go to the next segment. AIs are going to be a big part of that because now AIs are going to oh start taking gosh. over a bunch of people's jobs. Those people are going to be jobless. Those people are going to be are going nuts. It's happening bro. already. Yeah, and then that's why they remove people like Andrew Tate, that voice. Because, bro, remember this. When, when are we the, talking about him? No, no, I mean, we don't got enough time. We'll bring him next time. But think about it. When you want when you want to go in and tell people to shut up and people are getting riled up and the government doesn't want an uprising, you got to get the men out. You got to get the young, yeah. the young. The, and guess what? That's why Andrew Tate, that voice of telling young men to hey, be man. proud of Free Top G. Yeah. One he, time for yo, the people. He's out. out. Free he's Top G, out. baby. You saw that video where he's just like, dude, that, he is, he did 7,800 push-ups. What, what did I say about Trump? He, we're attacking uh, the American dream. Yeah. Andrew Tate is a part of the American dream. 100, right? 100. I don't care where he lives. He is a part of the American Money, dream. Money, strength, intelligence. Yeah. Maybe a little too much confidence. Whatever. But that's yeah. the guy, bro. Yeah. Well, guys, I love, listen, I love these conversations. We can have fun. We can play games, but we always, we get serious. And then now that right. we sur- solve the world's problems, I think we're going to, I mean, I feel comfortable. I don't know I if you guys do. It. Yeah, I feel good with this venting session. Yeah, yeah no, I, I see why Vinny. people go to therapy now. I, I, I guarantee people, like my brother especially, he's like, Vinny, calm down. I'm like, I can't be calm. I'm More upset. people should do this. What you guys are doing. Yeah. Oh, 100%. Have a conversation. Yeah. And, you know, in the chat, comment in the chat if you're pro us or, or against us.